Hi guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you what I know about picturing animals. So first, before you get the halter on your animal, you want to figure out where you would want to take your picture. So you obviously don't want um, your picture in front of a whole bunch of different things. You just want one solid thing. So a good example would be maybe some bales or like a barn or maybe even some trees. Probably not so good of an idea would be like a couple shoots or something and then like maybe another bad example would be like in a barn or something. Um, next, once you figured out where you want to take your picture, you're going to want to figure out or you're going to want to clean up your animal. So we've already got thistle cleaned up. So... coming from in front of the animal. If this were to be a good picture, you would have the photographer with their back to the sun. So we'll show you another example of a bad picture to take. This would be a, another bad example because you have a whole bunch of animals in the back and you also don't really want them to focus on the animals in the back and you can't really see the details of this animal. So next we'll show you the good examples. This is a good example of a picture. You have one um, thing in the background and then you also have the lighting is towards my back. So basically he's just turning the animal around so that you have it in the spot that you would like. So then once you have your animal turned around, to set it up, you probably want to have their front two feet um, together, but not so together that they stand kind of wonky. You want a little bit of space in between them. Shoulder width apart. Um, next, to do the back feet, you want the right back foot back and the left back foot forward. And that's pretty much just how you would set them up here. So as you can see, we have the feet set up. So another good tip to set them up is you want their tail down. Now she has hers down right now. And then you also want to loin them. Um, if their back is very wonky and kind of dipped in, you want to loin them so it looks straighter. Then for their ears, you want someone in, for, in front of the animal to get their ears forward so they can look more <laughs> presentable and so that they look better in the picture. So pretty much we've got her set up in a good place. So I'm going to take a couple video or pictures of different angles of the animal. And for smaller animals you want to be crouched down so that you can get the full animal. wonky because you're just taking from behind but this would probably be one of the best angles to take it this makes just look like their shoulder is small and their butt is super big um but then also another good tip is that depend okay so as you can see here her tail heads up so he just made sure that it's down more um also you don't want them
So this is the recap of what you learned in the video. So steps for taking a picture. Um, you need to prepare. So find the location with a solid background like we talked about for the good um, pictures. Think of where the sun will be. So it needs to be at the photographer's back so that it's not causing a shadow. So you also need to get help so that you have a person on the halter, a person catching ears, and the person taking pics, pictures. Um, a good tip is getting a good quality camera. So that means it's charged and ready to go. Um, you also need to get your animal ready. So either if you want to fit them, wash them, blow them, stuff like that. Um, you also need to get them looking their best. Get them used to a show stick so that they don't freak out in the picture with the show stick. Get animal in position. So set up as you would in a show ring. So that means show side, leg back, um, front legs together, head up, ears perked, and the tail down. Um, for taking the pictures, try different angles to see which one is the best. Um, step back and take a look at the pictures and adjust if needed. Um, take your time, do not be in a hurry. It takes time to get a good picture. So that's the recap of what you learned.